So we've recorded audio and we've programmed a MIDI drum part, but how do we use Reaper to record a MIDI keyboard part? Well, we're going to need a MIDI keyboard to do this, but if you don't have one, keep watching. There is a way around that. So there is some setup involved in getting this to work. There are two ways you can connect a MIDI keyboard to your computer. If your audio interface has a MIDI import and your keyboard has a MIDI output, you can connect the two with a standard 5-pin MIDI cable. The other method is to connect your MIDI keyboard to your computer via USB. If your keyboard has a USB port, this is probably the better way to do it. Often these kind of keyboards also receive power from the USB, so it saves having to find another electrical outlet to plug your keyboard into. If your MIDI keyboard connects via USB, follow the instructions that came with your keyboard to install any drivers that might be necessary to have it function properly. Once the drivers are installed for your USB MIDI keyboard, and your keyboard is connected either via USB to your computer or by MIDI via your audio interface, we're ready to get Reaper to use it. In Reaper, we need to open the Preferences window, which is Control P or Command Comma on a Mac. In the left-hand pane under Audio is MIDI Devices, so we need to click on that. Your MIDI device should show up in the top list. If it says Disabled, Right-click on Disabled and choose Enable Input. Hit Apply at the bottom and we're ready to go. Now, to confirm this is working correctly, we need to make a new track in Reaper. So I'm going to double-click Track Area, and we're going to call it Synth. Using the Track Input Selector, choose Input MIDI. Your MIDI device should show up as an option here. In my case, it's Babyface MIDI Port 1. Your list will probably look different. If you only see Virtual MIDI Keyboard, All MIDI Inputs, and Map Input to Channel, something is not configured correctly. So review the steps we just covered and refer to your manufacturer's instructions. Next, we gotta select our MIDI input. So I'm gonna select Babyface MIDI Port 1 and All Channels. As you can see, there are 16 channels available. So instead of having to select which channel to use, all channels means Reaper will be watching for MIDI signals regardless of MIDI channel. So it's a safe way to make sure we'll be receiving any MIDI information that's coming in. Now we need to arm the track to see if Reaper is receiving MIDI data. Reaper shows us MIDI input using a thin red line on the right side of the meter. So we watch here. I'm just going to hit my keyboard. There we go. So that's saying that Reaper is receiving MIDI input. So if we're seeing that, Everything's hooked up correctly and we're ready to go. So one final note, if you don't have a MIDI keyboard, how can you play along with us? Well, it is possible to use your QWERTY keyboard as a MIDI keyboard. So under the track input selector, we're going to choose under MIDI, virtual MIDI keyboard, again, all channels. Next, we go to view virtual MIDI keyboard or just hit Alt B and the virtual MIDI keyboard will open up. You'll see the QWERTY keys are mapped out on the keyboard image. By pressing the corresponding keys on your QWERTY keyboard, you'll see the virtual keyboard respond. I'll hit Z, and I see this is lighting up. So let's move this out of the way and take a look at our incoming MIDI on our meters here. And again, we are receiving MIDI. So now, whether you have a MIDI keyboard or not, you'll be able to follow along with the rest of the steps. So let's make some noise with Tal Noisemaker. I just like to say that. <laughs> 